Mounting instruction for shunt release. Tools required. 6mm and 7mm spanner or ratchet. Screwdriver, nose plier. These are the accessories and hardware required. Check the status of the breaker. The breaker should be in off position. Check the racking interlock if any. Now, breaker is in service position. Take out the racking handle from the cradle. Insert the handle in the slot provided for rack in and rack out and rotate it in anti-clockwise direction until breaker comes to isolated position. Place the racking handle back to its position. Pull out the breaker up to maintenance position. Remove the mounting nuts on both telescopic rail of the cradle as shown. Unload breaker from cradle. Place the breaker on its left side plate. Take the shunt release assembly. Fix the special pin to the striker by using nylock nut. Connecting link is divided into two parts. Insert check nut in the threaded portion and then join to connecting links as shown. Fix the connecting link to the release assembly using a circlip. Now insert screw of shunt release mounting inside the plate provided on the breaker for release mounting. Insert slot of shunt release plate between screw and mounting plate. Fix other end screw of mounting and tighten both screws with screwdriver. Cut the wire to its required length and pass the leads through sleeve. Route the wire properly. Terminate the leads at the terminal block if present. Otherwise, mount the terminal block on the breaker using insulation sheet and hardware provided. Now, press striker to the left to latch the release. Now, adjust and connect other end of the link to the trip rod using pin. Ensure the connect link should move slightly on pressing the striker and should come back to its original position on releasing the striker. This ensures its free movement. For checking correct operation of shunt release, charge the breaker. Close it with closing push button. Trip the breaker as shown. Tighten check nut on the connect link with spanner as shown. Insert circlip to one end of pin. Lift the breaker straight to its position. Place the breaker over cradle rail with mounting slot of breaker matching with the pins of cradle. Place the spring washers and nuts and tighten the nuts on both telescopic rails. Push the breaker to isolated position. Insert the handle in the slot provided for rack in and rack out. Insert the breaker to service position by rotating handle in clockwise direction.